Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Autodesk Maya 2022.1 update and this is the most recent update from the folks at Autodesk for Maya. Now this update does come with a couple of cool things that you probably would like to take a look at and one of the most impressive one is the brand new looks to the application homepage. So if you simply pop up Maya, so I'm just simply going to go ahead and pop it up. Once you open up Maya, this is exactly what you get to see. There is a homepage that describes basically what is new. You can can see what's happening within the community if you go down here and of course you can also learn Maya directly in Maya. Now this impacts the download size of your updates or of Maya 2022. You no longer need to go over to you know the documentation to learn some things right now especially if you're trying to get into Maya for the very first time as first off you'll be getting all of the updates right here within your screen and also you can directly learn Maya within your viewport. So how this one works is very simple. If you go over to the learning section, you can choose to learn Maya right here, or if you jump directly and say, go to Maya, you would notice that the UI looks, you know, very, a little bit different. Now, before we talk about some of the things that you would need to notice visually for the UI, let's talk about that tutorial thing, because it's actually a little bit of a huge deal. And how that one works is if you go over to the help section, there is a new interactive tutorial section that shows you the basic stuff. And at the same time, you can view all the necessary tutorials. And of course, if you go over to the quick tour, if you're coming to Maya for the very first time, if you click on quick tour, there is a quick tour guide that actually shows you how to get started with working with stuff in Maya. So like right here tells you, you know, basic things, you get to find where to create your first polygonal object, you get to see where the content browser exists, what the framing looks like when you want to frame stuff. This is quite beautiful. It's literally beautiful in the sense that once you're getting into the app, you don't necessarily need to feel confused about it for the very first time. You can just simply hit the ground running. And of course, you can also notice that the brand new interactive Maya tutorial does come with a tiny bit of animation just to give you a heads up of what you can actually do with Maya. So from things like character animation to modeling and how you can navigate across the viewport, this just makes it very, very nice. So you can actually do or learn most of the things that you might want to do with Maya directly within the app so that you don't get confused within your first few hours while working in Maya. Now moving forward, there's also some very tiny visual updates that we'll talk about. And the very first one is the view cube. So the view cube is back. You can simply use this to look around, know where the top is, the back, left, right, very cool for modeling. And something else which you would notice right here where we have our tools is a very tiny search. So within the search section, once you click, you can search for stuff. Now, this reminds me so much about the Cosmos tool, which I've already talked about previously on the channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description or probably put a card so that you guys can see that. But then this isn't really like a new, new tool. This tool has actually existed in the beta version of Maya 2019 or 2018, but it's very cool to see that it makes it to the final release. So what you can do with this is once you hold down control, press F on the keyboard, you can search for stuff. So if you search for something like cube, so for example, cube and you get a cube right there if you like to do some sort of duplication control F as well and type the word duplicate and you can actually duplicate particular objects so a couple of things that you can do with this and uh, it's very very nice and while we talk about things that you can do with this not everything actually works actually not everything that exists within Maya that you'll be able to find yes you might be able to find about 98% of almost everything that exists with Maya with this search but there's also a couple of things that you might probably not be able to find now moving forward you would also know is that we have a new look to what the content browser looks like. So this is the new icon for the content browser. And you notice that we also have the sweep mesh. So the sweep mesh have finally made it to the poly modeling. Previously, this was known as the wire tool. And uh, I kind of put that on the gum road before it got deprecated. And now it's good to see that it's available in Maya. So you can actually get it. So instead of you know, creating a very simple spline like this and then going over to create and go all the way to the sweep tool. Right now, you can just simply select a particular curve and sweep it. And that way it's pretty easy. Now there's also a very tiny update to this one as well. So just in case you like to have different variations of a sweep and you don't want to actually have all of them 
you know look the same so basically what happens before was if you get all of these things selected and you go over to your curves let's just simply review the curve and actually smoothen the curve all right so what happened previously is if you have all this selected and you sweep you have all of them more like having an instancing because if you choose to increase let's say the stepping or change these things to start automatically you'd notice that all of them do exactly the same thing but that is a bit changed so there is a new option to actually help you uh, make these things independent. So if you select all of this and you go over to create, go all the way to sweep, you'll notice we have the toolbox. Click on that toolbox and right here you can now say a node for each curve. So instead of having like an inherited thing, all these things become independent and you have one node for individual curves and you can use them for whatever you want so at any point in time you have this thing selected you can choose to make one a star you can also proceed to select something else say for example we can select this one go over to the sweep and we can make this something else and this is this is really really nice and moving forward if you take a look at the content browser you would notice that we have a tiny update so if you go over to the animation section there is now a brand new rig that has been added and that is the Maya bot and it's actually written M4Y4-B07. So you can now click on this. Actually, you can click and drag or you can double click to load this directly within your viewport. This is very, very nice. The whole idea that you now have something that you can actually start animating with instead of going ahead to look for a rig that you can play with. This makes sense. So you can turn on your materials from here, get to see that beautiful material, turn on the light. This is what you're into and you can actually work with it. So this has been rigged with the human IK and uh, it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and rotate the palm or the hand and then we can do the same thing right here. And we can also bring this one all the way down to a point like so and rotate it as well. So this is looking very nice. And of course, if you're into stuff like this, you would like working with this one. Now there's also some parameters for this, just in case you want to work with attributes. Once you select this, go over to your channel box. You will notice we have a couple of parameters that you can play with. So you can actually play with the eye, depending on what you like. And you can also play with the expression on the eye. So all of these are more like expression shapes. So you can play with the expression. So we can say maybe this should be angry and, and stuff like that. Maybe this should be scared, something like that. You can play with the expression. You can add some more stuff depending on you know what you're trying to create and this actually looks really nice and while we look at things that are quite nice there is also another tiny update that is here so if we also go over actually i think we need a brand new scene for this one with the brand new update to the bifrost right now there is a bifrost 2.2.1.2 update that is currently available for maya 2022.1 and of course you can check out the bifrost browser where you can see a couple of samples that you can play with it makes the simulation for your bifrost a bit more stable and you can enjoy working with the bifrost and uh, do some stuff so right here we have a very cool simulation that i'm just playing back and if you actually take a look at the bifrost graph editor you can see how clean it is i think uh, moving around the you know the ui looks even way way cleaner and we can actually go in you know throw in a dome light check out what it looks like once you're rendering this and this is nice i mean for those that are thinking about creating simulations take a look at the brand new update to the bifrost and have fun working with it meanwhile there's also a couple of more updates that you can take a look at so maya just like every other app is migrating to python 3 and this is definitely going to be a welcomed one now for those that are also thinking about building state machines maya right now can help you build state machines just like you could do with unreal engine and also unity and for those that are looking for new updates to component stuff yep there is an additional component tag that you can now work with just in case you're into it and there is also a new set of falloffs that you can work with once you're working with the formats directly in Maya. Now there's also some more updates that you might want to check out, things like your USD plugins, there's an update to that, and there's also updates to your Arnold for Maya that you can actually take advantage of. So check out some of these things, tell me what you guys think about it. For those that are thinking about, you know, jumping ship, trying to see some updates about color management and stuff, check out some of the new icons and also some other things that is currently available with Maya. I'm gonna Put this link in the description where you can go through and check these things out for yourself tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and i'd like to see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace